I'm up. Day 30. Woo! <laughs> Took forever. I keep feel I feel like it always so tired, but today I kept hitting that snooze button over and over and over. But it is kind of like the only morning I get to actually sleep in, sleep in. Oh, no. Well, day 30, man. It's crazy. I wanted to do something special for day 30. But I've been so busy, I didn't have anything planned. I gotta do this super edit. You all done, bud? Come on. All right, poop, energy drink, edit, run errands with my wife, mow the grass, edit, day 30. They call me nasty vlog, let's do it. We're gonna grab the day by the throat and then kick it in the nuts. <laughs> let's do it, boy, let's do it. No, it's probably like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Who's he talking to? What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> I'm bored. Finished up day 29. That it. I'm going to make a new folder. Vlog. Day 30. <laughs> I'm actually kind of a little emotional about it because I didn't think I'd be able to do it. And it feels really good when you accomplish something and you. Is either really hard or you don't think you could do it all. I'm excited about that. You're all excited. Come on! That's got a really good idea, but I can't do it because I gotta be safe. Cause I can't get hurt. Well, I, every time it used to rain, we used to go out and film, and I, the one time I did a, a belly flop on the blacktop. I have to wait for the TV show. Storming out, so doing two things at watch. Ugh, two things at once, please speak well, play. Two things at once, I gotta dump out. Compared to the freaking gravy This dehumidifier while I'm watching gravy. The log. Vlogging at the same time, which makes this uh, all extremely difficult to do. God. Learn from your mistakes. That's all you can do is learn from your mistakes. Babe. Like no, <laughs> yeah. That room has a light now. Oh. Hey, you put one in, I think. Yeah. yeah. We both do. Here, take this for a second. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Alright, hopefully it's just the, uh, it just flooded in here and that's what caused it over here. We, I think what's over there? Nothing. Well, nothing, look, yeah. look at the floor. It's like coming under the. Shouldn't be. But this floor is. But. I don't know how it got so bad though over where you are. All right, that should keep us warm in the cold, dark storm. Oh, oh, like a little baby. Right? Are you kidding me? Oh, Nova, are you jelly? Nah. Oh, get out of his butt, nah. man. That's just gross and disrespectful. Nah. 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 N
smelled it. Facial in itch. It. He tongued it. Yeah. He tongued it. He tasted. But that's respectful. But it, what he did was kind of disrespectful. I don't know. Maybe it was. Oh, downward dog. Caught it. He panics worse than I do when he's excited. <laughs> what up? What up? What are you claiming? Claiming fucking Atlantic City's hot. <laughs> what are you claiming? I'm claiming that we got a very excited call from Luke, our network executive. As you know, Luke has been our shepherd over there. Yep. Uh, been championing the project. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a great time. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. All right. Well, if you have any questions, anything, give me a shout. And I'll update you as soon as I hear more. Awesome. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh my God, dude. Holy shit, dude. It might be fucking on, dude. Yo, it might be on, dude. Oh, he just texted me right now. When she turns oh green. God. Yo, it might be on, dude. Woo! Oh my god. Heavy, dude. <laughs> oh. It's not a full pickup, dude, but it's good. So I want to pause that real quick. So that's that's gravy getting the news. The same phone call I got yesterday, and I didn't really film my reaction because um, we had a guest in the house, but it was fairly similar. But I'm almost getting emotional just sitting there watching his reaction because it was we're feeling the exact same thing, and we're so pumped up and so excited. It's not 100% yet. It's not. We're not at the finish line. We're not in the promised land, but it's about as good as it can get. So far, the best news that we could get. We're super stoked. We're close enough where we're freaking out. Freaking out hard. It'd be a dream come true that we worked hard for. We all worked hard for it. Yeah. Man. So the boys might have a show, a TV show on a big network. Throwing down crazy ass stunts with my best friends. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Get these chores over with. <laughs> it's not really chores, it's like job. Job shit. Errands. We gotta go see Aaron. <laughs> Who's Aaron? He's always fucking calling, Aaron. <laughs> He's always fucking calling. Nami? 
So you can see, look at this yard right here. Yeah. Oh, and I see the see tire marks. Yeah. Oh, I see the tire marks. Yeah. Oh, man. The yeah. bush was completely on fire. The tire mark, like he was up. That was his back wheel. Where that thing is, that's his back wheel. So he's reversing, so he's ass out into the street and then he cuts it back around and he like uh, corkscrews back around and lands. I'll go down this way so you can see over here. All right, so last night my wife actually got in a car accident. Some drunk young kid, she saw this SUV stuck in this bush on fire and she ended up trying to help and she parked across the street and she called the police and it ended up, the kid ended up being completely plastered and he backed out of the bush hit her truck no, the front, the front end, end was, was on, on fire, fire. then That's the back lit the, the bush on fire then whenever he landed where he in that ditch the back end ended up being on fire and <laughs> nobody understands nobody understands how everything got on fire where are we going yeah chambers over yeah oh okay yeah we'll go to the highway 83 yeah oh, okay yeah, so not the way you want to end the night. Yeah, especially not at like, what time was it? 2.30? 2.45? Yeah, and especially when you go to help somebody that their car's on fire and then they ended up being so drunk that they smashed into your car well, too. the scary part wasn't that he hit the car. If I was just sitting like this in the car and he was coming, I'd be like, all right. I was getting out of the car when he was coming out and I honestly thought he was going to hit me. And I was like, oh, this is how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been vlogging. I heard myself go, oh my God, he's going to hit me. And I just froze and I sat there. I'm sitting facing out this way with my door open, my feet out, not on the ground, but on the step. And I didn't do anything. And I'm like, why didn't I get up and try to run? Like, why did I just sit there and wait for it to happen? It's, a lot of people would freeze. A lot of people would run away. I would have been vlogging. I probably would have got hit on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did get hit, but I didn't get hit. The car got hit. No, I would have got hit. No, no, not that. No, because you, like... Car stunts. I mean, you... Oh, this can't right now. <laughs> not the rest of it, just the back. So to sum it all up, last night got super biblical. Burning motherfucking bush style. <laughs> kind of places that you don't even know exist. business. Time to mow, mow, mow the grass. Yes, sir. It's a little late, but it's not as hot. If I can at least get the front yard done so we don't look like lazies. People driving by saying, oh, these jerks. They don't take care of their lawn. Well, guess what? Guess what? I vlog. They call me nasty. It's hard, man. It's hard to get this stuff done. Plus, it's been raining. Like non-stop. Yeah. That looks like crap. <laughs> don't wait that long. Don't mow when your yard's really wet. And don't wait freaking forever to mow the lawn. That's a lesson learned here. But I'll do it again. And again, and again. Because you never learn. Sup, guy? You watching me? Woo! Sweaty. Sweaty, my man.
mowing session to blink. I'd say you can't beat that, but I could have went out the humidity and the white grass that kept shutting off the push mower. <laughs> it was kind of hell. I need to talk to you guys. It's day 30, so I need to have a long, serious talk with you guys. Yes. All right, let me sit down and get focused and we'll have our talk because you guys, you guys have been amazing. And we need to talk about it. And we need to talk about this vlog in 30 days of they call me nasty. Like for real, we need to talk about it. I want to talk about this vlog a little bit because it is day 30. 30 mother effing days straight of waking up and filming my day and editing it at night. You're talking about offloading the footage, getting it all laid out on a timeline and then cutting it down and cutting it down even more and cutting it down to try to get it to that, trying to get into between that 10 and 15 mark, which sometimes is less than 10, sometimes it's more than 20, but kind of is what it is, depending on the footage and depending on the time that I have to edit it. It's been a blast it's been i've been tired and it's been busy but i've been way way more positive so i'm really excited about doing 30 days straight like legitimately really excited one of the big things for me and i think it, it fits in right with this tv show coming is before when i posted stuff on youtube it was just straight stunts if you saw me out in public hanging out my my wife's work or i don't know anywhere you'd be it would be the complete opposite of what you see on camera it's just on camera, on YouTube, it's just me screaming and yelling, doing the most gnarly stunts, getting hit in the nuts. I look like a complete maniac. And I am a maniac. I don't, you know, I don't think I'm not. But I was always afraid to put my true self out. Just the simple fact that I'm just, I do normal things and I'm a fairly laid back, normal person at times. But that, just like the little details of myself. I, I grew up and for whatever reason, I was always not confident, not totally confident with myself. Around family, around friends, I never wanted to be caught singing or I never talked too much and I was always, when I heard recordings of my voice, I was always embarrassed and I always thought I was stupid or sounded stupid and I took speech classes when I was in elementary school and I thought, you know, I can't talk right and a lot of times I can't talk right now, but and I'm so critical of myself, like even my laugh, like I never put my laugh in any of my videos because I was always so embarrassed by it and I thought it sounded so stupid. And this is the very first time and I'm almost 30 years old, I'll be 30 years old in November, that I've really put myself out there. And the beauty of this vlog for myself personally is getting comfortable with myself in front of Everybody, anybody that wants to watch this are gonna is gonna see me exactly how I am. Now I don't put a ton of negative stuff in it, it, it and I don't film a lot of negative stuff. And I, I like to believe that my life is mostly positive. Not to say that negative things or stressful things don't happen, but they're gonna see me exactly how I am. I've tried to not drag things on, but I try to cut things and show, you know who I am and my, you know, how I laugh at something, my, my mannerisms, my sense of humor, how I talk, how I talk to the pets, how I talk to the kids, how I talk to my wife. It's just how me and who I am. More specifically, when I did an MTV show about six or seven years ago, I was trying to figure out my character for the show. So I was on this reality show called Numb Nuts. It's me, Crazy Mike, Victor Lopez, Jeff Dye, and we're all on this show. Jeff Dye was a host. And me, Crazy Mike, and Victor Lopez, we're, we were the Numb Nuts. We were the crazy guys. And it was like, it was from the, the guys that did Fear Factor. And it was this crazy reality stunt game show competition. And it was pretty cool. And you, you could still, if you watch some of my stunt reels, you can see some of the clips from the show. We did some really gnarly things, but I was Charlie's trying to be this character, this horse character, this angry, and it was just too much for me to learn and understand um, because it didn't let me be myself. And when you're in a situation where you're trying to tell your emotions and you're trying to act and be this character, 
it just doesn't translate. So when I went and did America's Got Talent, I just decided, well, I'm just going to go out and, and be me. And I'm just going to like, I'm not going to be all serious and angry and just yelling and screaming. I do that. And I, that's part of me too. And I'll go out and get crazy. When I do stumps, I get in my horse mode or my nasty mode and I go wild. I could get dirty. But I wanted to smile and, and laugh and joke and and they don't, I mean, they cut stuff up, so they, they don't, they didn't show like a ton of it. I was perceived so much better by the judges. Right from the very beginning, I think I walked out on stage and one of the first things Sharon uh, Osborne said, oh, look at his smile. They don't show like all of it on TV, so I don't even think they said this. They talked about how they could see us as a group having fun. And I'm up there with Ben Gravy and the Amazing Hob and Rico <laughs> Hollywood Roman, the barbed wire, AKA the barbed wire beast, and eventually Mad Dragon. And we're just having the time of our life up in front of thousands and thousands of people wrecking my nuts. And, and in some cases, just all of us throwing down. And we were having fun and just killing it. And, and it translates. When you're having fun and you're killing it and you just be yourself, there's something magical about that. And there's something that just translates and people can relate to. Since then, I haven't had a ton of practice doing that because I've always been afraid. I'm always like, oh, well, I'll get a TV show and then I'll... I'll, I'll do it then and I'll, uh, I'll practice and I'll get better at it and you know that would be my game plan but I never really did anything. So here I am I think four years later after America's Got Talent and I finally started this vlog after putting it off for so long and I really started to let it all out. Not just be comfortable and confident with myself you know when I'm with the people I love or my friends and my family but to get to a point where I can be comfortable and confident no matter what, wherever I am. And if whether I'm with people that I don't know that well, or I'm shooting a TV show, or I'm under a lot of pressure and I'm under a, on like, and I'm on a big stage under a ton of pressure, I can, you know, be myself and perform and entertain. Cause ultimately that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to entertain. And I feel like if I'm at a complete comfort level, I'll be able to do that. You know, I was a guest on Howard Stern. I'm gonna end up being one of the biggest accomplishments of my whole life. And it was the coolest thing ever. And he was the coolest person. He was so humble. He was so nice to me and all the people I brought. And the, and the staff members were so supportive. It was just awesome. And I really hope I get this show because he believed in me. He called me. The, he, he claimed me the king of nutshot. He called me his son at one point. He really endorsed me. And I just want to show him somebody that gnarly, that huge, that well respected in the industry of entertainment and that that he believed me and I didn't give up and I made it happen so that's going to be huge but back to the back to the 30 days that's what it's done for me personality wise it's made me so much more productive in my life I've gotten so much more done still adjusting and making sure I get all my chores done and all the other things in my life that I need to get done done but overall extremely positive and then you guys, you guys have been there with me every step of the way. I want to thank you so, so much. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this going as long as I can because of you guys. Because you, you reach out, we share experiences together. You help me when I have a bad day. Keep going because I know I'm going to talk to you guys and you guys are going to see this. And I don't want to give up. The messages that you've sent me, the comments, follows on, on Instagram. All that stuff has been has been amazing. I, I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I think that's it for tonight. If anything crazy happens or if I decide that I need to get hit in the nuts or do something wild, turn the camera back on. They call me Nasty Vlog, day 30. That's it. And I'll see you tomorrow, day 31. I'll just rock it. So within the next couple days, I'm going to put up a super edit. All my favorite moments from the last 30 days smushed into one song that I'm going to put up. So again, thank you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow, 31. Peace. The horse!